So you're having problems sending email from Outlook Express. If you've set up your Outlook Express account and you're still not able to send email, that's a problem with your outgoing mail server. So what we'll do, we come into Outlook Express, click on Tools, click on Accounts, select the account that's having the problem. If it's the account you've just set up, it'll be down at the bottom. Highlight that account and click on Properties, which will open the properties for that account. Now what we need to look at is the Servers tab up the top, so click on that. Now we can, now firstly here we have the outgoing mail server information. It says outgoing mail SMTP. That needs to be the server address that your ISP provided to you. So it'll typically be mail.yourisp.com. In Australia that might be mail.bigpond.com. It might be mail.optusnet.com.au. Could be mail.iinet.com.au or one of many others. So you need to get that information from your ISP and make sure that's correct. It typically would be provided to you in, in an email or in documents when you set up your internet with your ISP for your office. Um, they would have provided an email account for you with that. And that should also, that brings us down now, once we've got the outgoing mail server set correctly, we need to come down to the bottom here where it says outgoing mail server. Because, because it's a different server you're sending out with, you need to make sure that it says my server requires authentication. You have that ticked. When you click on settings, if it's set to use same settings as incoming mail server, that's not going to work because it's going to try to log on to that outgoing mail server using the wrong details. So you need to click on this button that says log on using. And in here, you need to enter the account name which your ISP provided to you. For your, for your email address with the ISP. This is not your email address with your website. So it will not be your name at yourdomain.com.au. It will be some name at yourisp.com. So for instance, you might have set up your email address under your personal name, which might be John Smith. Or I'm sorry, set up your ISP as, as the account name of John Smith. The Big Pond might have provided you an email address of John Smith at bigpond.com.au, and they would have provided you a password with that email address, which is what you need to enter in here. Once you have that information in, you typically would click it to remember your password, makes things easier. And then you do not typically need this box ticked. The log on using secure password authentication. Leave that unticked, and then you click OK and then click on apply which will apply the changes click on OK again click on close and now you should be ready to send email with Outlook Express